The rider's poor body position as he asks the horse to perform the roll back off the fence means that he is using no legs to turn the horse and this will always result in the hand being too dominant. Notice the horse's reaction to this insensitive pull on the reins. Let's take a look at normal speed and then go back to a slow-mo so you can see what I'm talking about. Here you can see the rider coming in with his toes pointing out and the right toe pointing down which is already telling me that his knees are loose and his legs are ineffective. And as he turns, here you can see his body leaning backwards with his coccyx tucked in, which will throw his weight back into the saddle, making him heavy for the horse to carry. It also means that his weight is not being supported by his legs. And you can see them here tucked backwards, merely holding on, but not supporting his weight. This means the hips are not turning with the horse, and consequently, the left leg is doing nothing to help the horse through the turn. So the hands are the only signal to the horse to tell it to turn. The pull on the reins will always be too strong. Notice the horse's head and its reaction to that pull. Here's the same horse doing the same maneuver. Firstly, notice the horse is being checked with a three touch stop and strong legs which makes the touch on the mouth much softer. Please check this out in the schooling section under schooling three touch stop. Notice also the rider's balance with hardly any weight on the saddle because his legs are strong. And also because his upper torso and hips are turning with the horse, his left leg is helping the horse through the turn. Because the legs are turning the horse, one can see that the touch of the neck rein is making the horse turn with the reins almost loose, instead of a drag around the turn with the mouth. The other thing that is making it easier for the horse is that I am asking for a lead change just as I check and then making the turn, and not stopping the horse on one lead so that it loses momentum and then asking it to turn, which is much more difficult. Take a look. There's the lead change, then the check, check, and then the horse is finding it really easy to get through that turn. Let's take a look at our original clip. Here's the horse being set now in a perfect position to turn right, but now just being drifted left. Have a look at the rider's body position, one hard tug on the reins, horse reacting. Let's take a look at a few more examples. Here's the horse on the right lead. You can see one big pull to stop it. Rider's legs ineffective and far too far back. You can see again how ineffective the rider is with his legs. And the horse on the left lead here, the first thing that moves is the hands with no legs involved. So the first indication the horse has that it is going to be asked to do something is a strong pull on the mouth. Notice again the rider's position, leaning back and his legs too far back to be effective. While here, look at the right leg there, you can see the bump and the horse change leads. Then check, body turn. Strong right leg, horse finding it easy to get through that turn. And in this example here, there's the bump of the left leg, the horse changing leads, then the check, and it's a three check stop, body turn, left leg working, and the horse finding it really easy to do that.